Phew, I'm so hot after my duty. It's really hot out there. Let's have a sip of water. Hmm. Oh, that was nice. Oh, hang on. That's interesting. This has been designed. I wonder if I could make this better. I wonder if there are other things that I could improve. Imagine if I had the power to redesign stuff. I'm going to go and find something and imagine what I could do to redesign it. Off we go. I'm going to choose something I'd use every day. Like, uh, oh, door handles. I use these a lot. Imagine if I could make this door handle better. Or a hook where I hang my bag and my jacket. Hmm. Let's keep looking. Where else could I go? Looking for everyday objects that I could improve. <gasps> a tap. Ooh, let's have a look how it works. Or even a soap dispenser. I use them loads. Going to keep looking. What else could I do? <gasps> Light switches. I use them every day. Imagine if I could improve them. Door handles. These ones look different. Somebody's been imagining how to improve them already. Let's have a look in the staff room. Ooh, here's a chair. Imagine if it was more effective. Hmm. Teachers love drinking tea and coffee. Wonder if I could make it more efficient or safer. What else is there? <gasps> Cutlery. I use this at least three times a day. <gasps> I know. I'm going to see if I can imagine how to improve a fork. I want you to find something. It can be big, small, and we are going to imagine different ways to redesign it. I'm going to do my fork. What are you going to choose? Now we need a piece of paper, pen, possibly some colouring pens, and a picture, or even better, if you can hold the thing you're going to be imagining. Fantastic. Now let's organise our piece of paper, and we're going to draw four equal rectangles, and we're going to have four headings. Work better, easier to use, fairer or more fair, and more beautiful. Another way we can say this, instead of work better, you could say more efficient. Easier to use, more effective. Fairer or better for the community, more ethical. And more beautiful could be more aesthetically pleasing. But you choose the headings that you feel most comfortable with. Engage those imaginations because we are going to have to work out how we can imagine a fork could work better. Hmm. Let's get creative. You can choose anything you like. Don't think, oh no, that's not possible. I couldn't make that. Don't restrict your thinking. You can design it any way that you like. So I'm going to have a fork with ten prongs on it. And to make it easier to use, I'm going to make it more ergonomically designed. I'm going to get the, the fork to wrap around my fingers. Wouldn't that be good? And f mm, Better for everyone. Better for the environment. What about a fork made of wood? Or a sustainable resource? Hmm, that'd be great. And more beautiful, well, forks, they're all silver, stainless steel, they're a bit boring. I'm going to jazz it up with some colour. What do you think? Now this thinking routine is imagine if. So, you can have another go if you like, and this time really let your imagination run wild. What about if it was easier to use if the fork had wings so it could fly up to your mouth? That'd be easy, wouldn't even have to use your hands. Or if it was... Working better, the robot would cut it for you and feed you. Or safer, better for everyone, maybe we had a blunt fork. Or more beautiful, hey, why not have a mirror so you can look at yourself while you eat? It is up to you. So you're going to go and find something, and then once you've got it, on a piece of paper, four squares, you write, work better, easier to use, better for everyone, more beautiful. And then you can do the sensible one that's possible, or do the moonshot blue sky thinking, the one that, well, maybe it's not possible yet, but one day in the future, you never know. People may be using your Imagine If to create these amazing designs.